Yeah! What's up guys, this video is long overdue because I've been on tour with my band Everything Yes all up on the East Coast and guess what? We have a West Coast tour, it just got announced. You heard that right, we're hitting the West Coast next month. Here are the dates. If you're planning on coming, then you better get your ticket soon because y'all showed up on the most recent East Coast tour. Now we're gonna see what this West Coast place is all about, all right? You can find those tickets in the link down below in my description box, thank you. Anyway. Right before I left town a month ago, Mino Symbols, the best symbol company in the world, sent me a package in the mailbox. I felt like a small kid waiting for his father to return from the grocery store with that elusive carton of milk. But instead, I got something better. Guess what I got? I got in the mix, make a noise so funny. Crash and splash, yell I'm all about that money. My hat's got staccato talking in code. Dancing on beats like they're walking on the road. Symbols. All right, so we're just gonna go one by one and essentially just check out some of these symbols. So for the very first symbol, naturally, I'm gonna go with the hi-hats. The 15 inch extra hammered pure alloy hi-hats. I mean, look at this. Super, super duper hammered. It's so extra hammered. Wow, oh my gosh. So if you didn't know, most of the new Mino stuff that came out this year is a variation of their pure alloy line. And not to sound like a Mino employee because I'm not getting paid for this video. They don't even know I'm filming it. I just don't want my YouTube channel to die. The pure alloy series are more of a traditional sounding line of symbols, meaning they harp away from those dark, earthy, and complex tones we would usually expect from Mino, particularly in their Byzen series. And to my ears, the pure alloy series sounds like they would be really great symbols for rock and roll. So if you were to take a dark Byzant symbol and a brighter classic custom symbol, the pure alloy sonically would sit right in between them, in my opinion. But for the special 2024 drop, they decided to take that same concept and just hammer the shit out of them. Huh? Let's play them. What am I doing here? We're gonna go play them right now. You ready? Checking out these hi-hats. As for our next symbol, we're gonna go with this 20 inch extra hammered ride symbol. inch extra hammered crash symbol okay I like this one all right next symbol little 18 inch crash symbol all right you guys know I like to experiment a lot. And I'm not talking just about symbols. But what if we use the top half of the Matt Garska Signature Fat Stack, okay? 18 inches. And then we take this 18 inch extra hammered crash symbol and put them together. Yeah? Yeah? That might sound as a little a little ridiculous, but I like it. Okay. Comment if you guys think this should be my new main I hat. This is what I'm most excited about. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little I'm, I'm way more excited about this other symbol. And I'll admit I already bashed on it a lot. I actually brought it with me on tour because I loved it that much. It's this symbol. The 22 inch China ride symbol. Grab your reserve. Let me show you why I love this thing, okay? Now one. I've literally never owned a China symbol, okay? And two, you can ride on this thing and crash it like a China symbol. It comes with four rivets. Um, three of them have fallen out, but that's okay. I'm, I'm probably gonna take out this one too because I already have a rivet guy 
over here on my, right, my main right setup, but anyways. Let's just say maybe you're playing jazz organ trio early in the morning for a uh, brunchy gig, right? And then that same night, you gotta go to the other club to play your metal gig. Or, or let's just say, maybe you want to ride on it for a little bit. But I'm not done yet. I'm not done. Now, even another symbol that I'm not even going to lie, I haven't even unboxed it yet. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna carefully unbox it here. Here we go! Oh, it's upside down. The Foundry Reserve 21 inch flat rack. And I bet this thing would sound so good with some rivets inside of it. Now most of you know that flat rides don't have a bell, right? It's just a completely flat symbol. See? Flat. But what that does to the sound, it gives it such a smooth and buttery sound a great texture, particularly when you're playing jazz. All right, let's set up, let's set up uh, pretty much the full cymbal set and see what it sounds like over a song, maybe. 